Hi, Carl Latham here with the Percussive Arts Society Education Committee, and I'd like to create another PAS classroom video, this time on coordinating your bass drum parts around your hi-hat parts. So oftentimes when we're playing beats, the hi-hat, the bass drum, and the snare drum fall at the same time. I'll show a few examples, like if I'm playing a straight eighth note rock beat, In that instance, everything that I play in the snare drum and the bass drum happen at the same time as the hi-hat. And you can use your hi-hat as the measuring stick and just line up your bass drum and snare drum with those notes. Similarly, if I was playing 16 notes in the hi-hat. Again, all of those events happen the same time as the hi-hat. Also, if I play it in 12-8 time. So those types of coordinations are really straight ahead. But when you start adding notes where your bass drum and your snare drum fall in between the hi-hat notes, it can be a little trickier. I'm going to use one of my favorite beats by one of my favorite drummers, When the Levee Breaks, and you'll see uh, many of the bass drum notes fall in between the hi-hat parts. Now in order to learn that coordination, you can add one event at a time. So you use your hi-hat part as a measuring stick, one and two and three and four and, and add one bass drum note and one snare drum note as you go across the measure. Something like this. So as you're learning those type of beats, you have to really clearly in your mind see the relationship of where do the bass drum notes and snare drum notes fall in relation to the hi-hat. I hope this was useful and please keep your eyes out for other PAS classrooms which cover all kind of aspects of playing percussion and percussion instruments. Alright, have a great day, practice and groove on!